What's going on guys? Welcome, welcome back. That's a double welcome. Welcome, that's a triple. Welcome <laughs> that's welcome back to a new vlog. For the very first time ever in my life, have an open mind to possibly purchasing a brand new, yes, brand new off the lot pickup truck. This is sketchy waters for me. I've always been a believer in the older trucks. Um, not so much that they have to be old, but you know, buying a used truck for a good price, something that's been taken care of with low miles. I've got the two Silverados, but let me tell you, the amount of headaches I've had the last two years while on hunting trips, shed hunting trips, daily use, um, it's adding up and it's wearing on me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting sick of it. The cost to fix the things versus what it would cost to buy a new truck is still nothing compared to the cost of a new truck. The peace of mind, is what I'm after. To buy a new truck, the only reason I'd do it is because one, get a good deal right now. Uh, the dealerships are doing some great rebates, blowing out inventory, this coronavirus is thing. Financially, I'm in a position where I can afford to buy a truck. Like, not a problem whatsoever. Credit score is at an all time high, and I'm, I'm able to do it financially. The only thing that doesn't wanna do it is my mind thinking like, that's such a huge chunk of money which I could throw at the house for just paying off uh, whatever I have left on the house. And, you know, versus like maybe buying like a eight to 10 year old truck with 80, 90,000 miles on it, someone who took care of the truck, uh, maybe a one or two owner vehicle. That's really what I like gravitate towards. It's kind of what I want to do. But like I said, going in with an open mind to go to the dealership, check out options and hear them out. Look at this. Is this the next truck to get? This? This is the truck you want. This is the truck you want to get. This will get you a hundred girls on the beach. UPS man's behind us. Maybe he's got me my Mount Ops delivered. Dude, is that Mount Ops coming? I don't know. They're sending some. Come on, stop. Electrolytes or something? Here's the plan, guys. We're going in as a team. We got good cop, bad cop. That's how we roll, man. These salesmen don't know what's coming. He has no idea what's about to hit him. <laughs> if it was me, I'd probably like, oh yeah, I'll buy it full price, okay. We've, we've got Eric, who is, as you guys have seen, Chevy man, and usually we'll wheel and deal and get a good KSL or used car deal or something that he likes, you know, with good miles and been taken care of. And we're kind of going into this with the strategy of there's two vehicles, one that's used with low miles, but it's priced pretty close to a brand new <laughs> truck with no miles. And the options or upgrades are kind of, they vary, but Eric's a simple guy. He likes what he likes. He doesn't need much, but he wants to maybe get a new truck. I do want this. If I can pick one thing, this is important. It would have this. Here's the cool thing about this. Check this out, all right? So we're gonna go straight convertible style. This is what I love about the Tundras, these new ones, is Pull this one down, roll him back. Oh. And then, watch the back window, you ready? <laughs> and then we just drop all. Dude, I didn't know you had the base, bro. Now we got the beach, too. Feel that? This is such a nice truck. Well, I would say that this video has not gone as planned, but the good news is I did make up my mind. I bought a truck and you're gonna see it. So let's get to the good stuff. Like I said, I was gonna go to that dealership, check out the 2017, that never happened. So I found this on KSL, it's classified ads here in Utah, Idaho, and you know some of the Western states. This was a private seller and it was exactly what I wanted. I really love when people are like, you know, I used the truck a little bit, didn't use it as much as I wanted, always kept it clean, always kept it in the garage. And that's how you end up with trucks like this. In great condition and low, low miles for its year. So let's do a walk around and then we'll hop on the inside. I just gave it a spray down and uh, dried it. It's hard to 
dry these things especially the glass before they dry up it's pretty hot out here today luckily for me the sun is gone but yeah check this thing out it's slightly used well it's used but uh, it was a two owner truck the guy I bought it from was the second owner he had only had it for two years and he had only put 6,000 miles on it in the two years so great find if you ask me I was happy 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 my first pick was like a metal gray metallic I really like the silver maybe black I never really considered this this is a slate metallic it's actually pretty hard to find and honestly it'd probably be like my number three or number four pick if I did have to choose an exterior color I went and test drove it and I loved it I had really all the features I was looking for which aren't many I did I did check out a 2020 that had the bench seat this one does have the captain seats by the way I didn't clean the interior this is just how the guy kept it obviously I'm sure he he cleaned it before he sold it but it is clean clean trust me I know this I've had my trucks I put miles on them I put a lot of dirt and stuff I know where the hidden cracks are where dirt would hide and it just doesn't exist in this pickup so one of the features I did want was a sunroof the newer ones I was looking at did not have the sunroof the newer ones I was looking at were like 10 to 12 grand more than this one and from what I know same engine and same transmission from this year to the next but it is a crew max I really wanted a crew max I was definitely not gonna buy anything other than crew max um, but again sunroof I don't know I'm not familiar with all the features obviously for you tundra experts it's not the newest model it's got the older dash it doesn't have the big screen and anybody want to guess the year i'm sure some of you guys can probably tell but uh this is a 2010 82,000 miles so 10 years old only averaged 8,000 miles per year which is what you call a gem hidden gems garage kept and look at this trust me i know what it's like to have a worn out truck dirty in the seams you know the back would be dirty but uh, this whole truck i'm telling you guys is so clean every little nook and cranny clean and ready to go so the sunroof this rear uh, window or rear windshield whatever you want to call it does go all the way down just like most crew maxes this thing can uh, these chairs both fold down for storage. So that would be nice for putting all the hunting gear inside there All the doors door jams super clean. I Think he upgraded the wheels. So these are what typically come on the newer model models I think I'm no expert, but these are Toyota rims. I think he bought those afterwards probably found them uh, You know people a lot of people upgrade their wheels. So it's got the Michelin tires all terrains I'll burn those out until they're dead it is the TDR off-road package he had a shell he said this is the closest color to the truck he could find it's not identical but it's dang close so we got the shell brake lights hooked up to it it's got a rhino liner ooh that's nice ha sweet um, but anyway, he's got the Rhino liner in there. That's a plus. It does have a tow package, which I could tell was used very minimal. I mean, look at this. Usually you got your hooks here. This is all going to be scraped up. Could be painted over, but you still, I can tell. It just hasn't been used a lot. All the chrome, still super shiny. Yeah, the truck's in great condition. Great, great condition. I've never been a fan of the shell great for storage sleeping in the back of the truck if you want so maybe I'll try it out and see if I end up liking it but uh here's the driver's side everything so clean so yeah guys this is the truck I got I'm super happy super super happy with the purchase um I paid 22,000 the other trucks I was looking for were more than the 30 plus and after thinking about it I'm like I can save 10 grand get the same the same uh, engine, transmission, a little more miles, like no big deal. It's got the iForce 5.7 liter V8. So this is gonna be able to pull pretty much anything I have, like the jumping jack or my small camp trailer. Yeah, 
basically stock, which I prefer, but he did give me some extras. Let me show you what he had. The headlights there are aftermarket headlights that he put on, but he did give me the original, so uh, no crashes on the Carfax. All maintenance was done at the Toyota dealership. He gave me a leveling kit that he never had time to put on, so I'll probably have Braxton install that at some point. These stock mats, which are still super clean, and even a bed cover. So if I ever want to take the shell off and roll with the bed cover, I can do that. I've always liked my larger beds, just being able to throw the four-wheeler in and go. This one, I w I'm sure to fit the quad, the tailgate's going to have to be down. And I know there's some aftermarket accessories that you can buy that extend your tailgate or strengthen your tailgate. Um, but, you know, if I ever want to take the quad, I always do have the trailer here. So that's not a big deal. But anyways, what do you guys think? Let me know. I'm super happy. I have finally pulled the trigger on a new truck after buying a new house. What do you know? What a year it has been spending all my money. My two trucks, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, but most likely keep the Hush truck, the gray one, possibly clean up and sell the other grandpa truck. Yeah, wanted to throw this video together and share it with you guys. Jordan planned to um, like you saw Jordan was with me, but again the dealership just didn't have that 2017 I wanted to look at So I bought this one instead It's kind of the direction I was leaning towards anyways uh, I always kind of like dealing with private sellers myself and again Finding people that really babied the truck and took care of it. Well, what do you guys think? Did I make a right decision? Should I just kept dumping money in the Chevy's? Should I have bought the truck? I think it's just what I need. I'm on the road a lot and the last two trips my Chevy's broke down and it's so stressful. It really just kills the mood for the trip. I handle them pretty well, but it's still just a headache. So hopefully this now can be my reliable truck. And I mean, I wanna take care of it. So honestly, when I get the garage fixed, maybe I'll leave just enough room from the office to pull the truck in and then take it out when I'm inside. Who knows? Well, that's the new beast what do you guys think leave me a comment thanks for watching hit subscribe tundra or chevy what do you guys drive let me know